Hi, welcome to Simple Scuba. This is the Light Motion Gobi Plus 700 Spot Dive Light. Uh, it's a modular type of system, uh, so it's a handheld unit. Uh, you can change the uh, heads to uh, you know change the the beam angle, swap it out for one of the nightsy ones, or put on the the really tight search uh, beam ones. Very very simple system. Just you need the head unscrews. There's nothing complex about it, uh, and then you can interchange it with a different unit. Or if you want, you can if you've you know you need to burn load through loads of dive light, uh, so you, you might have different units, uh, different bodies, and they're just literally factory sealed units that contain the, the rechargeable batteries. So you might want additional bodies uh, to sort of prolong your dive time, and you know, put the other one on charge. So it's a very versatile system. Actually, the head fits back into place, screw back in, and that's it. And then you've changed the unit or changed the head. Uh, so it's very, very versatile. It can be used in the water, obviously, but it can also be used in air because it is air ventilated. So the air is allowed to pass in through the body and cool the head unit itself. It still has plenty of thermal cutouts, uh, so it will obviously protect the unit if it does get really, really hot. Uh, this one is the 700 spot uh, version. Uh, so it will provide 700 lumen of output. Uh, changeable between three levels and it's focused in a 20 degree spot uh, beam. So a very uniform beam with a slight halo effect on the outside. Uh, it's the Gobi Plus uh, body, so it has a higher capacity 3 amp output. Uh, so it gives you a slightly longer burn time. Uh, if you change it for a lower output head, you also get a longer burn time again. Um, it's a smart type of system, so you've got a uh, very intelligent switch. So it switches uh, both the standard dive modes and also uh, some extended and alternate dive, um, sort of burn time modes. So by pushing it and releasing it, you're activating the standard modes. Pushing and release will also activate the different levels. So you start off on the lowest setting and then you can go up to medium and also the, the brightest settings, so outputting 700 lumen. Holding it down will turn the unit off, but if you hold it down again, it will activate into the alternative mode. So the first one is the extended dive mode, uh, or extended dive, uh, burn time mode. So you're getting really, really, really long time burn time. So if you, for instance, you uh, had an emergency and you were left out to sea at night, put it into this dive mode, and you can use that as a signal device for a really long time. It's like days of burn time. Push it again and release, will activate the SOS strobe. So obviously it will strobe through the SOS uh, Morse code. Holding it down, turn it off, and then you can go back into the dive mode if you want. It's a very, very simple, intelligent type of system. Got a single LED which uh, indicates battery status. So green is for good, amber for medium, and red for getting low. That will also uh, cross over to charging as well. So it'll indicate the charge uh, status. Charging is via uh, external ports on the back. Obviously it's a factory sealed battery unit, so you can't get out the batteries to change it itself. Um, so charging is via the ports at the back and using a connecting charger. It is USB only, but it will plug into pretty much any USB port and get a charge from there. Obviously the output level of the USB port will affect how quickly the battery will charge, but it will charge from pretty much any USB port. You could obviously put it into a mains adapter as well, uh, but it just gives you loads of flexibility. The dive light, this one is supplied uh, with a bar mount as well, which is a bit of extra versatility because obviously it can be used in air. It has a lot of other uses um, as well. So you can use it for a lot of other sport, whether it's water or on the, on the land. Um, it does give you loads of flexibility of how you can actually fit it. So it comes with a bar mount, Obviously there's a lanyard as well, so it helps prevent accidental loss if you're carrying it by hand. Comes with Allen key to fit the mount. You also get a spare O-ring for the head and also a little bit of grease. Obviously you want to put a tiny bit of grease on here to keep it lubricated. Uh, too much grease will obviously help attract uh, dirt, grit and things like that. You also get a number of little caps. One cap goes on the head unit if you unscrew it, you can take the little cap one and just put it over the end. And that just keeps water out, dirt out, and sort of protects little pins that are on the inside. 
And you also get a little one with a little sort of grippy tab. And that goes into the unit itself, into the body. And that just protects the receptacles for the, the pins on the head unit. So again, you're just stopping water and grit getting in there. Dive light is uh, rated to 120 metres. So it's pretty much uh, covered all recreation diving, uh, sort of into the technical diving range. Very, very small, very, very bright. As I say it can be mounted uh, but in different ways as well. The wider units are great for uh, sport cameras, things like that. Uh, and you can fit ball mounts, uh, lock line mounts to them as well. So if you change it out for a wide angle lens, you can obviously put those mounts on as well and use it on a camera system. So very, very versatile dive light, interchangeable bodies, interchangeable heads. Uh, that is the Light in Motion Gobi Plus 700 spot.